Talking Heads, Road to Nowhere. Let's play through all the different sections of the song. After that, I'll go back through, guide you through with some explanations. Um, before I jump into the song, do me a big favor, help out the channel, hit that subscription button. I come out with tons of videos, so you don't want to miss that. All right, Road to Nowhere, Talking Heads, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so after that uh, extended vocal intro there, uh, we kind of get everybody coming in, and it just starts with, you know, uh, like a big E. Right? So upon doing that, we get these uh, accordion riffs that come in. So you can either just keep hanging on that E chord, you know, or you can uh, get into some of these little riffs, which are fun. Um, so we can mimic that by doing, let's see, open B, to an open G, one G, hammer on. Okay, back to the open B. All right. And then we do the open B, open G to one again. And then here we go, two B, open B. Okay, so just some fun little small riffs we can uh, do if we want to do the accordion parts as well. Once the main pattern gets gets cooking here, you know, with the verse and all that, um, this is good for a bulk of the song right here. Uh, so it's just going to be that e same E chord and do two measures worth. And with this, uh, you can either, you know, follow along with like the bass doing those, uh, you know, those galloping strums. It's up to you. You could do that if you want to be that uh, busy with it. Uh, or you can kind of hang back and just kind of do like the that style it's up to you okay how crazy you want to get with it um i'll just do some basic strums for you here uh, so it'll be a couple measures of that e okay and then it's going to come up to that c sharp minor all right four on the a uh, six on the d and g five on the b four on the high e and same style with that, couple of measures. These bridge sections come along. Uh, jump to a new chord here, It'll be the A. And you can keep that same strum style if you want. Um, it'll be a couple measures of the A chord. Okay, then one measure of the E, and then one measure of a B chord. All right, two on the A, four on the D, G, B there, just one measure. All right, and then when we would repeat those two measures of the A, the E, and the B, go through that a couple times. And after you do that a couple times, then we just get into this uh, little buffer section uh, where some more uh, accordion riffs happen, and that's just kind of hanging on the E chord for a couple measures. Okay. Getting into some more of these accordion riffs, um, it gets a little busier here, and you you can kind of shuffle these around or improvise on them a little bit. You know, nothing super set in stone here. 
but uh, initially it'll kind of stay in that same area as the intro accordion. Um, we'll be one on the G, do a open to two, hammer on on the B. Okay, you can just kind of cut it there for a moment. Then we do that one G, two B, open high E. Okay, so just some choppy little riffs here. Uh, next one, one G, open to two, hammer on on the B, back to the open B. And then a little descending uh, arpeggio here, the open B, one G, two on the E. Okay, so after we go through a couple, you know, uh, verses, choruses, all that, um, then we get these new accordion little bits where it's playing a, a little different style where we'll be up here where we do like a uh, pull off from four high E to two to open, then hit the two B open B. Okay. And after that, you can kind of just add a little something to the end of that. Do it again. Four, two, open E, two B. And then when we, uh, get to the end of that, we'll just do like an open E to hammer on E. Okay, something like that. And you can just play around with that, that area there, those notes. Um, it's up to you. All right, so let's just try all these uh, different uh, riffs up to speed here. Then we get the saxophone chiming in uh, towards the end there. Uh, it's just kind of playing this same riff. It'll do it a couple times. And, uh, you know, anytime the sax comes in, it's basically doing this. So uh, we could do it in the same style if we do open to 2B hammer on. Okay, come back up to the open B, do a 1G, 4D, 2D. Okay, and like I said, just play that a couple times and. Uh, you'll be right in line with those saxophones. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.